This is Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars with a 1972 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. And this has really low miles on a rebuilt engine. It's got a new transmission in it. Um, just a great running, driving little car. We're gonna take it for a drive right now. And I've got the top up, it's kind of chilly out. and straight that's me slamming the brakes on right there I love these cars they are so easy to drive I, I uh, taught my daughter how to drive on a 74 Volkswagen Beetle on it I don't know what it is but it just seems like the, it just they're so forgiving the clutches and the, sh and the shifting this has got a good clutch in it nice and nice and firm clutch I mean it's like new like I said it's got the basically the whole drivetrain has been rebuilt Really healthy little engine. The iconic sound of the pea shooter exhaust. Turn this off and Take a step back here from this. I love this color. Man, most of the beetles that we get in are red. If you go through my sold inventory, you'll see, you know, I got a, I've had a hundred red beetles. Um, I'm actually not sure if I've ever had one this color and I, I really love it. You know, really love the kind of a British racing green or hunter green. It's got a new top and uh, I love these tops there. Uh, this is, you know, you can see the padding if you can kind of see me. I mean, nice, you know, padded. This is a higher dollar top. This is not the cheapo top um, with a headliner. Um, I think the top's about a year old is what um, is what the previous owner told me. And actually, I picked this car up from Moon Air Cooled. Uh, Moon Air Cooled does all my Volkswagen stuff. He's been doing it for about seven years, all my Volkswagen. So he'll call me every once in a while and say, hey, I've got a customer who has a Beetle he wants to sell. And he, when he called me on this one, he said, Eric, it's a good looking driver. Um, and last year I rebuilt the engine and I put a new top on it. Um, it needs a couple little things. I said, what does it need? He said, I'd like to put a new transmission in it. So that's what we did. Uh, put it, uh, fix the shifter, uh, put a new clutch in it, all that. So he said, but other than then, that, it's gonna be ready to rock and roll. The heater works. It's got a brand new upholstery. So before we go to the inside, I do wanna say it is a driver quality paint job. It's an older paint job. I don't know how old it is. I would say it looks like it's a few years old and it's been driven and you can just tell. So when you get up real close to it, there's a few little spots where you can see uh, some of that, like that spot right there, that's not actually a spot, that's just a reflection. But if you get real close, there's a little spot there, um, a little spot here. And I've got perfectly matching paint for it. I've got about a quart so you could actually, if you really wanted to, spot in a few things if you're a painter. I personally don't think it quite needs that. This is the worst of it. It almost looks like just for, it looks like for a couple of months, a cat might have sat here or something. I just had, every once in a while, had a little claw mark. And you can barely tell I'm trying to get really close with the camera. You see that, that, that when you get really close to it. Now, I mean, if you stand back just 10 feet from the car, you don't see it. I just wanted to be particular. We always do these videos you know i very rarely meet a customer face to face we ship almost everything now uh that's just the that's just the age of our business so if you walk around the car you see a few spots like that here and there and that really in my opinion is probably what's keeping the car from being pretty much perfect because other than that everything else is new and really good looking uh the paint the wheels were just sandblasted and painted i wanted to choose a color that i felt like matched the top or they were actually gray We've got brand new uh, hubcaps all the way around, brand new uh, light bezels here. Um, 
all of the uh, tr trim is in really good shape. It's not perfect, but it's in good shape. And actually, if you took a little time to use a Brillo pad, you could make these look perfect. Mirrors are new. Uh, light covers in the front are new with new rubber. Brand new light bezels in the front. This front bumper is in really good shape, but it's not perfect. It's got one little spot here where it got a little dent. And uh, we just kind of try to pound that out a little bit. So again, this is what I think everybody in the market always likes to call like a 20 footer, or I would even say a 10 footer. I'm standing about 10 feet away from it uh, right now with the camera. And it's a beautiful, little, beautiful little car. A couple little spots where the, uh, some overspray got on the window. And I actually, I hate it because I actually meant to grab um, some acetone. I think that would actually wipe right off. You can see that the seal is good on the top and the top is absolutely beautiful going inside the car everything uh, on the upholstery is new so it's got new door uh, panels it's got new seat covers it's got new uh, Wolfsburg West uh, seat belts which is really nice back seat as well all new carpet in the back is in good shape oh shoot well, that little button, I'll have to go back and put it on. That's too bad. That happened. I'm going to see it. That's what I was trying to do. Oh. Being a little clumsy, but that's part of Well, I'm not going to completely unlock. All right, well, have to fool with the seat, I guess. And I'll have to make sure that I don't forget to grab that piece, that little... On the side but I was gonna try to get to the back and show the um, let's see if I do this okay well I'm feeling like a fool now Ugh. but that's what these beautiful beaches are um, all right well for, for whatever reason I'm having a hard time making the seat scoot forward but I wanted to show carpet back here is in good shape that's what all I was trying to do headliner is nice it could probably stand to be cleaned. Brand new carpet. Just put it in yesterday. The boot's all new. Shifter's in great shape. And the dash is in great shape. I'm not sure if it's been covered. Um, or if it's the original. It looks like it might just be the original. and Just in really good condition. Um, the horn works. Of course you have to have the key in the on position. Windows seem to roll up and down nice and easy. I always kind of push them down when I'm doing that with the with the um, convertible top. I like for them to go down. There we go. My watch is getting caught on that. This is my clumsy video. Goodness. So yeah, windows roll up and down. But you know what? I'm not gonna reshoot the video. I just do these because I'm a real guy. These are, you know, this is just how they are. This is part of owning a car like this. And uh, I, uh, I don't like trying to make my videos look perfect. So just got a brand new carpet kit, a little kit for the, for the um, trunk space. It looks really good and clean. There is a spare tire under here. Looks like I could have pulled it out and scrubbed it and it would look nice, but no rust. That was one of the reasons why I jumped on this car because Clinton called me and said, guy called me from Moon Air Cold and said, man, this thing has got a new engine in it or a rebuilt engine. It's got uh, no rust. Doesn't look like it's ever been in any accidents. Windows roll down nice. It's always a little bit tight because of because of the top. Pop these. Unlock that. Make sure that this is back. So I've got a camera in one hand. That's how easy it is to put the top back. Just do it with one hand. 
So it's got a little lock here. These little locks locked down on the sides. Actually, it looked like that one was broken. That little tab was broken off, but these are in no danger of popping up. A little lock here. I'm gonna lock it in. So I also um, ordered a tan out cover for this, the convertible boot. I love having a, com I love convertibles and I love having a boot on my convertible. I think it's just a fi finishing touch. So I've ordered one, it's coming from uh, Colorado and I had ordered one from another company and they said it's on the way, they said it's on the way and then they said, sorry, it's out of stock. And I'm like, man, you guys suck. So anyways, having to wait for another one to come in, but uh, man, I love these cars. They're so much fun to drive. I love this color. It's unique to have. Like I said, especially just to have not a red one. So real quick before I finish up the video, let's get up underneath. Nice and solid. New bushings in the front. You know, there's some surface rust under here. There's no undercoating. But uh, no holes. Nice and solid all the way back. Rockers are in great shape. This to me is the most important thing about a beetle in a lot of ways. And I did just wash it so it's still a little wet. It's a humid day here. But these are the rockers. They're in fantastic shape. Floor pans. All in con great condition. Inner fender wells underneath in the back. Around to the passenger side. Again, rockers on this side in great shape, as well as the floor pans. Looks like one little patch there, if you can see right there, right where the battery, then that's not unusual to have one little small kind of rust hole. And then looks like a long time ago, somebody may have put a new front floor pan in this. Looks like it was done really well, nice and clean. Well, there you have it. 1972 Volkswagen Super Beetle convertible. This is the last year of the flat windshield. Love these cars. This thing looks awesome. And uh, gonna make somebody a really fun Christmas present. Yeah, it's November, almost Christmas. So sell a lot of these during November, December because it's time for, time for Christmas.